Well, today was National Signing Day for high school athletes, and it really was a day unlike any other for student athletes who came before them. NBC 15's Colin Cahill explains the challenges they have overcome to get this important stage in life. From pen to paper, high school athletes all across the country and right here on the Gulf Coast signed their way to a college degree. The community watching. They're looking. They want to see you succeed. The past year has been nothing short of strenuous for high school athletes of all sports. Seasons canceled, campus visits turned virtual, and coaching relationships built over the phone. I mean, traveling and going to camps and doing all that stuff with you know, your friends is one of the most memorable things of uh, recruiting. But I would say it just kind of got more annoying because you really, you really couldn't... Uh, you really couldn't see what they what they had to offer. Even during National Signing Day, some celebrations were socially distant and virtual. Jordan Mosley, a standout at Miguel Tulin, was a longtime Tennessee commit, but after a change of heart, he decommitted. And I think Northwestern hit me up to like the next day on Twitter. Uh, they asked me if I would be interested, and I was like, of course. Today, he signed with Northwestern, a school he never visited in person. Actually, I didn't. I didn't do a virtual visit with Northwestern. I mean, they sent me like a video of their campus and whatnot. What really drew me to the, to the school was more so like the care they actually have for, you know, the actual person, not the football player. Over in Fairhope, star quarterback Riley Leonard signed to play with Duke next year. The process was unlike anything he's ever experienced. It was a hectic month or so that I had to commit going from ne never seeing any of these places to fully committing to one of them. Leonard was lucky enough to be able to take a visit on his own to Duke but most kids were not as fortunate. The schools didn't even contact me throughout the, uh, my junior season, so you know a lot, of the, a lot of the guys this year were, were cut out of scholarships and th things like that. And it doesn't get any easier for next year's class. That's the class of 2022. The NCAA waived all in-person visits and labeled it as a dead period in recruiting until April 15th of this year, thus creating the same challenges for next year's class in finding a dream school. Reporting in Baldwin County, Colin Cahill, NBC 15 News. High schools all over our area holding signing day events today. Baker star Ladarian Craig signed with South Carolina. Linebackers Dwayne Williams and Trey Fallow signed with Peru State. And defensive back Zach McNeely is heading to Millsaps. Down in Theodore, Sheldon Russ signed with Alcorn State. Tyree Farr is heading to Austin P. And Jamil Richardson will play at West Alabama. Joining him in Livingston is Murphy's Isaac Williams. His fellow Panther, Adrian Hardy, signed with Independence Community College. 